So let us consider another typical exam. We are given on question number two to factorize uh, completely, which is to factorize fully. All right, whatever that you're given there is to factorize completely. That is to factorize fully. All right, so these two questions is just three marks, three marks, as you can see. Uh, we are going to quickly rush through the questions that we are given. Uh, let's see what you're given. On 2.11, this is a squared minus 2a minus ax uh, plus 2x, like this. If you are to consider these typical questions, you are going to notice that they are asking these questions where you are given four terms. One, two, three, four. And I said, when you are given four terms, try factorization by what? By grouping. All right, by grouping, grouping these into two, what are we having? Do we have anything common between the first two terms and between the last two terms? Do we have anything common? If it is possible, then you can factorize. All right, so let's see, guys. Okay, there we are given uh, A squared and A. A is common, so you're going to factor out A, remember. The highest common factor is the one that has got the smallest exponent. So what are you going to have if you factor out a from a squared? That is a squared over a. You divide by what you factored out. a into a squared, that is a. All right. Minus 2a divided by a. What are you going to have? Minus 2a over a like this. The a and the a will cancel. You remain with a minus 2. So that's a bracket of a minus 2. And I said you're supposed to have the exact same bracket from these two terms when you factor out what is common. So the question is, are we going to factor out because there is x here? Are we going to factor out a positive x or are we going to factor out a negative x? Be very, very careful. The sign that you're going to use affects everything. Okay? As we need to have a minus 2. So for us to obtain positive a here it means where the a here it is because that is where a is and where we a is we can see that there is a negative so how can we make it to be a positive we must factor that negative for us to have a positive here we must factor out a negative so we are going to factor out negative x okay that is the x is common guys but that x it is supposed to be either positive or negative. So you have to be careful on the side. For you to have the same bracket as this one, you're supposed to factor out minus x. If I factor out minus x like this, let's see what are you going to have. It means you're going to divide minus ax divided to minus x. What are you going to have? Minus ax over minus x like this. Minus and minus cancels. x and x cancels, meaning to say you're going to remain with a, okay? 2x, it's a positive, that one. It's positive 2x divided by what you factored out, which is minus x. So positive and negative, guys, gives us what? A negative. The x and the x was gonna cancel, meaning to say that was going to be negative two. So 2x divided to minus x is a negative two. All right? Be, care be very, very careful. What you factor out here, you have to divide this term, divide by this, this one, divide by this. So as we can see, guys, the two brackets are exactly the same. This is what we need to have these two brackets being the same, a minus two, and also this one, it is a minus two, so that we can factor out that bracket minus two like this. What am I going to remain with here? What am I going to remain with here? I'm going to remain with a, and here I'm going to remain with what? Minus x, as it is with its sign. That is, we are done. This factorization is in the simplest form. There is nothing uh, that we can do further more from there. So you have to be very, very careful, guys. Very, very careful. All right, that is it, guys, for three marks. Let us see another question we are given. As a fraction on 2.12, uh, that is 2.12, we are given this as a fraction x cubed over x squared plus 3x plus 9. All right. This uh, fraction, the numerator, we can see there's something familiar to our factorization. Remember, we did factorization uh, when we talked about the sum and difference of two cubes. Two cubes. 
All right? So there we've got a difference of two cubes. Why am I saying so? This is x cubed minus 27. This is exactly, uh, if you remember, they, if we check guys on the introduction of algebraic expressions, I talked about this as a class where I said, if you're given x cubed minus y cubed, this is the first term cubed minus the last term cubed. If you factorize this, you're going to have the first term minus the last term into the first term squared minus first times last. Uh, all right, where well, that is going to be a pop this. A negative here, a negative here. The, the, the sign that is there remains as it is. If it is x cubed minus y cubed like this, all right, if it is a plus, you have to consider a plus in the first bracket. So it is going to be x plus y in the first bracket. Then the other one is going to be x squared minus xy uh, plus y squared. It is just like, uh, what can we say? You know, when we're dealing with the trigonometry or where we have got identities under trigonometry, it is same as algebra. This factorization, you can consider like identities that are considered uh, uh, on what? On our factorization. So when we are dealing with this difference of two cubes, you can just consider that way. That is exactly what we have. So the 27 here, can it be written as this? Suppose it is y to the exponent of 3. We need a number raised to the exponent of 3, which represents the same 27. So this is same as x to the exponent of 3 minus 27, this one. It is same as 3 to the exponent of 3. So guys, this is what I'm simply saying. This is your first term, which represents this x. This is your last term, which, is, which represents this y that we are seeing here. So if they are saying this factorization, when it is of this nature, it is going to give us x minus y. First minus last, x minus y. X minus what? X minus 3. Because this is what represents our X and this is what represents our Y. So X minus Y means X minus 3. So you're going to have X minus 3 into uh, X squared. The X, which is your XY. Take note here. It's supposed to be a plus. Then you multiply X and what? First and last. First and last. So it is going to be plus the product of the first and the last. 3 and x, this times 3 is same as what? It is same as 3x. So it is going to be plus 3x. Then we move on to the last squared, the last term squared. Our last term is this number, which is 3. So what is 3 squared? 3 squared is equal to 9. So we are going to have plus y squared plus 3 squared, which is what? Which is same as 9. We have factorized. By knowing this, the difference of two cubes, it is very, very important in your syllabus, the, uh, the, the difference of two squares. But on the cubes, when you're dealing with these cubes, these ones, it can be a sum. You can have it as a plus here. Take note. You can have it as a plus. You have to know each and every factorization. All right. So that's it, guys. From the cubic expression that you have, we are going to obtain these two brackets after factorizing. Like I said, know your basics, please. So it is going to be x minus 3 into uh, x squared plus 3x plus 9. So let's do revise as many questions as we can. Uh, going through uh, the introductions, you can see that we talked about these. All right, into uh, this, then we're going to divide, guys, into this one, divide by, by this one. x squared plus 3 plus 9, this is a direct factorization, uh, I mean, a direct bracket, this one, yeah, which cannot be factorized here, as you can see, it, yeah, this one and this one. It is exactly the same. So plus 9, it means it is uh, impossible for us to factorize like that, that expression. So just leave it like that. Guys, if you have got factors here, two numbers that you multiply to get nine, you add the two numbers, you get a three. If you have those numbers and you say this can be factorized, guys, you are the first one. Can I know those numbers? Uh, can I know the brackets on the comment section? But as you can see, these two brackets cannot be factorized. I mean, uh, this part and this part cannot be factorized further, but they are the same. So it allows us to cancel because they're exactly the same. So it is just like one and one. So, guys, 1 times x minus 3 is simply going to remain as x minus 3. So, that is it, guys. Dividing by 1 does not affect anything. So, guys, do not waste your time writing x minus 3 over 1. So, this is what we had for 3 marks. Is it fair? All right, guys. Our questions. We're going to have another uh, part as a continuation from this one. So, stay tuned at Maison African Motives.